Hi, this is Dr. Kang's Scuba Diving Stories. Today's topic is in water recompression. When we dive, decompression sickness is something we hate, but it comes. But we might not be diving in an area where uh, evacuation is very easy or readily available. In that case, especially for technical divers, in-water recompression is a good option and it's something that they do quite often. So uh, to talk about the in-water recompression, we we'll look at the treatment modalities for decompression illness are there's some uh, divers attitude on DCI a little different from technical diver to recreational divers uh, first aid and uh, omitted decompression stops and there's some procedure for that uh, what if the recompression therapy is delayed and in water recompression is an option so this is what I want to talk about today uh, treatment of decompression illness first is the first aid uh, then we put the victim in a certain position and maybe I have already talked about the recovery position and the recovery position especially for uh, cerebral arterial gas embolism a victim uh, there are certainly some medical treatment that can be done in hospital and uh, recompression uh, if recompression at the chamber is not readily available in water recompression uh, is an option so first aid we do uh, 100% oxygen for sure. Also, we try to rehydrate the diver. So, on the field, it's almost always uh, poor oral water. Uh, if available, IV fluid, it really helps. So, if you have any uh, experience getting a hyperbaric chamber therapy, you might remember that before you start the recompression they put lots of fluid intravenous uh, before we start the recompression uh, position uh, recovery position for cage and uh, if we have nitrox or heliox probably air is better than that so we could use nitrox for first aid uh, is in water recompression uh, possible as a first aid which i think is also an option uh, technical divers and recreational divers they do and they should have different attitude for decompression illness um, in technical diving, um, decompression illness uh, can come, and it does come quite often. So the main target is you can be bent, but no paralysis, and walk back home. But for recreational divers, no no DCI and uh, want to walk back to the next dive why uh, technical divers should have a different attitude for DCI there's high incidence of unpredictable DCI in technical diving higher probability of having to omit the compression stop and then comes a severe DCI let's say your beloved buddy is seizuring on the water. Your beloved water, <coughs> sorry, uh, team one, team 
is having trouble by panic, then you have to omit your own decompression option and bring the victim up to the surface. This is a very serious case. In this case, you have to go back down and finish your decompression option. Uh, so tech divers should always be prepared for ultimate probability of have to get some DCI treatment after diving. So in commercial diving, uh, if you don't have a, a portable chamber, they don't give you the business permit. So is a uh, recompression mandatory? Not in mild to some moderate DCI symptoms. Better if you have the recompression therapy. But if you can get early 100% oxygen first aid, in many cases, the symptoms just go away. It is a truth. So, first aid is really, really important. However, there will be some longer recovery time without recompression. But if it is a serious, like, cage, excuse me, cage, cerebral arterial gas embolism, oh, it's a totally different story. So in water uh, recompression, so I have some in Korean. Uh, in water is bringing the divers down to down underwater to treat symptoms of DCI. So there are some uh, two main different uh, methods for in water recompression for technical diver. The first one is Australia method, and uh, don't have any intention to go too deep into this. And then we have a Hawaiian method too. So if you uh, want any detailed information, you can uh, contact me and I will send you the PDF file for this. Uh, in water recompression, in theory, certainly has more disadvantage than advantage. But advantage is such an important advantage that we take the risk of disadvantages. First, we absorb more nitrogen if we use air for in-water recompression. And uh, if we use oxygen, there is good chance of getting uh, oxygen toxicity. Uh, we have some uh, problem with uh, uncontrolled environment. Underwater, it's not like on land. Uh, we might not have a uh, enough uh, let's let's go for the risk of drowning first uh, you're underwater and if you your symptoms get worse and worse then you can uh, you can really drown uh, there's some uh, hypothermia problem water is always colder than outside so have to be prepared for that as well and then uh, there's very uh, difficult uh, communication problem. So always we need some tenders or somebody to help the diver doing the in-water recompression. I would recommend at least the two healthy divers doing the same thing with the victim and helping him. Um, there's some uh, hazardous marine lives. Mm, jellyfish should be one of them. But there certainly is some advantage, which is immediate recompression, which is very important. Uh, especially when we don't have any nearby facility uh, equipped with a hyperbaric chamber. So, <clears throat> excuse me. There's some uh, data. Uh, 500 27 divers did some uh, in-water uh, recompression and most of them the symptom 
was gone, which is really important. So in water treatment is not something that we should avoid. It's something that we should always put into consideration. Um, in water recompression, I talked about the treatment of DCI and target of technical diving and target of recreational diving. Uh, first aid for DCI. Um, let's put it this way. In technical diving, you must do finish your decompression obligation and you have to go back for in water recompression. In recreational diving, no training agencies ever recommend that. But if there is no other option, if a diver is qualified to use oxygen on the water, I mean 100% oxygen, um, there is no way to evacuate the patient, there is no nearby hospitals, then we can consider in water recompression as an option. So this should be the conclusion for today. Uh, Thank you for our listening and uh, I'd like to come back uh, with a different uh, subject soon. Thank you very much.